Hi and welcome to Dave Barlow Guitar and in today's video you asked for this. Uh, these are two Chibson pickups. Uh, one feels heavier than the other or does it? I don't know. But anyway, so these are two Chibson pickups that come out of a two separate Chibson guitars that come from the, fa the same factory. Yes, they're completely different by looks and I think by weight, I could be wrong, we'll find out. But um, let's pull them apart and have a look what's going on. I just got a feeling there, this one is very Epiphone. Who knows what this one is? Okay, first things first. Sorry about the shaky camera. <coughs> this is the uh, this is the pickup that come off the gold top distressed chips that I did. This one looks suspiciously uh, Epiphone. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But anyway, so it's... 149 grams. And this gold one, which feels lighter. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, but maybe it's not. Oh, it is lighter. 118 grams. Now, that's interesting. So, the gold one, which is the lighter one of the two, comes in at 12.18k resistance. The heavier pickup of the two uh, comes in at 8.1k resistance. That's interesting. Yeah, I would have thought uh, it would be the other way around. But there you go. Let's proceed. Uh, take them apart. So I'm assuming uh, this is heavier possibly because it's been wax potted and this one hasn't this is the lighter one so let's uh, just put it apart let's see what we got here okay nothing unusual really about this pickup if I remember rightly, um, it didn't sound that great. It's got a, a big ass magnet in it. It's loose. Um, it's not even been tight together properly. ceramic magnet which feels really light it's that that that's the problem that magnet that just that's doesn't even feel like a magnet that's really light we'll look at that in a bit but yeah i mean this looks okay nothing wrong with that really uh, what have they done here? Uh, we've got... Where's the white wire going to? Can't see it. That's odd. It's very odd. Anyway, I'll take it apart. Perhaps I won't take it apart. So this, obviously, you can see this has had some, if it's been wax potted, no, I don't think it has. It's not been wax potted at all. Um, it kind of feels a bit, I don't know. It feels a bit, not greasy. It feels like it's had some wax on it. Oh yeah, it has, but not a lot. I mean, you can see the residue of wax. So, it's been wax potted, but badly. Um, so I don't know. So the so if you can see the like red wires, 
start and finish. Um, but there's a white wire comes out the other end, so who knows? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Seems to be okay. It's a fairly okay pickup. What you could do is you buy a nickel back, right? On the solder that. Put this on another one. Get a little spacer in there. You can buy these things. Buy yourself an Alnico 5, an Alnico 4, an Alnico 3, or an Alnico 2 magnet. Put it back together again. Wax pot it. That might be good to go, that. <coughs> yeah, I love that. Right, so. Let's try. Let's have a look at this one. Um, if you're bored, I'm sorry. Okay. Same bobbins. Same texture, same plastic bobbins as the other one. Um, less winding on it, a lot less winding on it. Let me compare the two. This is why this is lighter. Because it's got less copper. That's got loads more copper on there, sorry. That's got loads more copper on it. That's got a lot less copper on it, you can see that. Uh, it's not the best uh, way to do a video. I couldn't think of any other way of doing it, really. Um, lots of people do overhead stuff, which may have been easier, but I've got no facility for that because, as you know, I'm just I'm not really like one of these new age kind of YouTubers. <laughs> this, this is my workshop where I work. It's not set up to be all airy fairy and sell your shit. It's really just to show you, you know. How things are. Uh, there you go. If I was selling stuff, I'd have a proper studio, like all the posh um, YouTubers do. Yeah. So we have another uh, another magnet here, and it's really light. Um, we're gonna we're gonna weigh these in a, in a minute. So um, it's, it's it's the same as this magnet. It's exactly the same. It's it they, if they feel reasonably strong, but that. It's, I don't know, it's really lightweight. I don't know, maybe it's neodymium or whatever it is. I don't know. But I know for a fact that when I played the guitars with these pickups in, they sounded bloody awful. Right. So, I think this one's got a nickel plate on the back. Um... This one's actually got a marking on it. I don't know if you can see that. I think it's a B or something. Um, yeah, I mean, this one's built a little bit better. So you've got a spacer in this one. Has that one got a spacer in? No, that one's out. This one's got a spacer in it. So, uh See if I can get this off. I'm just going to try and get this um, plastic tape off. I mean, when I did, when I thought about doing this video, I thought, oh, this could be really interesting. But I just got this feeling it's, I've got a feeling you're probably getting bored right now. So I apologise for that. But, you know, it's very interesting to find out how they put these things together. I mean, yeah, someone's going to say, well, why don't you compare it to a really good, a really good pickup? A strip down a really good pickup. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh, that's busted. Look, I broke that. Look, it just fell apart. I mean, yeah, I mean, they fall apart quite easily. I mean, it's shit, isn't it, really? But uh, there you go. Hey, what's this going on here? Something going on here. Let's just come unsoldered. So, yeah, it's just that's oh, it's, I may have pulled it up. Yeah, it wasn't soldered very well. Um, oh, that's come off as well. Oh, well. So, yeah. Um, so, you probably realised already, or you've worked out that basically, I'm not going to follow that. You've probably realised already that these, oh, shit. Uh, there's, no t there's no other way of, uh, of, of saying it. I'm, and I'm being nice. They're shit. They are shit and you know they've just been yeah well, what can I say about that I can't say any more about that let's um, 
Maybe they'd be better if uh, if someone spent a bit more time <laughs> putting them together. <laughs> um, it's kind of like, it's weird. It's like um, this one, the heavier one that was waxed. Uh, it seems that, that there's a lot more effort gone into making that one. Um, apart from the potting process and the magnet that they use. But it's the same magnet they've used in that one. So... The problem is, is that obviously uh, chips are, are, are very inconsistent. Uh, even though um, they technically come from the same same factory. Here's here's my thinking, right? My my thinking is this: is that maybe they come from all sorts of different factories, and there's a guy that's pulling the resources of different factories and pull it into one pool. And then selling in bulk from there. Just putting that out there. I'm not saying that's happening. But I'm just saying that's what I would do if I was in China. But anyway. So. Um, yeah, it's enough of that. <laughs> I'm just going to weigh these. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just going to weigh them anyway. I'm going to try and find a, another ceramic magnet if I can. Uh, and compare the weights. Uh, not that maybe the weight would make a difference. Because the magnet. Well, maybe it does, because it's, I mean, obviously it's iron content. That These are really light. Let's weigh them. Right. Uh, here is the magnet that's come out of the pickup, which is 19 grams. Um, <laughs> I already know that I'm wrong. They're going to be the same, aren't they? Here's an Alnico 8, which is nine, 18 grams, 19 grams. So, yeah, okay, so I was wrong about that. I thought they were lighter, and I was wrong, because, you know, sometimes I am, and I accept that. Uh, chips and pickups, now you know what's in them. And I'm going to show you what you do with them once you've uh, taken them out of your guitar. What you do, you That is the sound of my bin. Uh, that's where they've gone. That's where they're going to stay. Dustman are going to pick that up in a couple of days' time. And everybody's going to be happy. If you like the content, you like what I do, you like what I say, or even if you don't like what I say, uh, feel free to comment in the bottom. Give me a thumbs up because that helps in the algorithms. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I will see you on the other side. Catch you later.